from the from the John DeVita Broadcast Center. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Paranormal Radio with Bob Tracek on the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network and Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM Norwich on Wednesday, March the 9th, year 2016. So sit back and enjoy Paranormal Radio. And now, here is the king of Paranormal Radio, Mr. Bob Trisek. Thank you, John. Thanks very much, sir. Mr. John DeVita, thank you. Uh, I'm still the king. I haven't uh, been demoted down to print yet, so I'm still uh, king of Paranormal Radio. Okay, tonight, uh, for tonight's show, before we get started, we've got uh, I, we got a good show. I'm kind of excited about this one because i got a few people on here that um, I've been wanting to get on for some time, and um, I'm glad they were able to, uh, to, get, to come on with us this evening. Um, before we get started, we just have to give a little sponsor recognition. That would be from Chester's Orsi's Pizza. It's a slash Chester's Tavern Orsi's Pizza, and they're over in Summit. And uh, they uh, sponsored the show here for us. Um, give them a ring over at, um, oh, good Lord. I, should, I say give them a ring, and then I don't have their phone number. How nice of me to mention it. Anyway, they are on Archer Road, and they are in Summit. And uh, stop by there for on Wednesday nights. They do their fun and free bingo, and they have all kind of activities going on there. And stop by and say hi, because I'm usually there on Wednesday nights playing bingo, too. Uh, also, too, for this weekend, and this is where Windy City comes in, this this Friday evening at 6.30 in the evening at the Summit Park District, not too far down the road from where Chester's is, we are going to be running a family game show night there. And we're going to be going back in time and doing some old nostalgic uh, game shows. And that will be uh, You Bet Your Life we'll be doing. We'll be doing uh, beat, not Beat the Clock. We're going to be doing You Bet Your Life and Let's Make a Deal. And then we'll do a box game so everybody can participate in that. And if you want to stop by for that, uh, just show up at the Park District at 5700 South Archer. Uh, it's a free event. They are having food and uh, drinks served, and it's all free. And uh, come on, and you'll maybe be a contestant on the radio for the quiz show or for uh, Let's Make a Deal. You might get zonked on Let's Make a Deal. So we'll see what happens with that. And it's going to be broadcast live through Windy City. So we're kind of excited about that. They're going to do a broadcast for us over there. Okay, that kind of takes care of that little activity. Um, just to introduce some of our guests that we've got on with us tonight. Nyla Rundle. Nyla, oh gosh, um, welcome to Paranormal Radio. Thank you very much. Yes, nice I'm to have you to on. Be here. Yeah, thank you. Very nice to have you on. Um, Nyla, I've known for some time, kind of casually. Nyla has an antique shop over in Orland Park. Uh, it's called Anna, Anna B's Antiques, and she's at 14330 Beacon Avenue in Orland Park. We put plugs in for everybody. 14330 Beacon Avenue, Orland Park. And Nyla's shop has a little bit of activity in it. Uh, she also has a very nice big dog there, too. I call him Toto, but he's a poodle that's about six foot high, I think that dog is. <laughs> I don't know. He's a big poodle. Well, he's big. Yeah, and Nyla, one time I got there, my friend actually has a shop next door to hers. My friend Jim Denelik, he's got a, a, sh a shop next door to hers. And I was actually one day waiting for him to show up. So I, to kill some time, I went in, I stopped in at, uh, with Nyla and sat there and we talked. And I don't know how we got on the subject, but we just started talking about our great nieces. Nyla's got a great niece named Hannah. I have a great niece named Hannah. My Hannah, my great niece Hannah, was born on the day my mother died, September 11th. Your great niece, the same thing. Born on the day my mother died. Yeah, now isn't that just the strangest thing you ever heard of? Life and is strange. Yeah, so from that we just kind of, is that just coincidence or what? That we have, And I don't even know how we got on the subject to kids or whatever. I don't know how we started talking about it. And then from there the conversation just went. And you've got some activity that goes on in your shop over there, don't you? I do. Yeah. I have a, a lovely uh, resident ghost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know we were talking a little bit about that. The shop actually used to be a private residence. It was a private home. Up until how many years ago was that? 1980. Oh, 80. So not all that mm -hmm. long. About mm -hmm. 26, no more than that. About 30 years maybe, maybe a little more. It's an 1880 Victorian house, and, and it was one family that lived there until the last descendant passed away, and that's Agnes. And uh, she didn't really pass away. She just passed on. She's still there, I think. Yeah, we were talking about yeah. that, yeah. Now, does Agnes do what? Okay, what does Agnes do over there that we uh, we know she's still around? Well, she never bothered me mm -hmm. un until, uh, you know, a lot of psychics would, not a lot, but a few psychics would come in and they all said, oh, you have a spirit in here. You have several spirits in here. And, well, okay, tell me about it because I'm open minded. But uh, then I went up there one night and they torn up the upstairs and i went oh agnes what the hell is wrong with <laughs> these people and poof the lights sparked over my head all the lights in the shop went out and my dog beat it down those stairs and would not come back up so i nonchalantly walked to the stairs and went down and went home in the dark yeah yeah well i have emergency lights ah, like okay. that yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah. get mm -hmm. to those 
Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I, I've always felt it not so much on the upstairs level, but like the stairway. The stairway yeah. up there, I felt something all the time. And then after you said this, I says, yeah, I'm kind of with you on this one because I've always felt that the few times I went up there, I, you know, I could feel something in the stairwell. For me, it's stairwells in places. Yeah. I get, I get creepy feelings in stairwells that something's going on. Yeah. Well, that's, she's all over the place because I told you Frank Zappa's niece came in, and she's a psychic. And she said, oh, Agnes is standing right in that back room. I said, well, why did she do that? Because you swore at her. Uh oh. Now, and, did she know Agnes' mad. name before, or she just <coughs> she'd came been up with there it? before? Okay. You know, and so I asked her. And this is Frank Zappa's niece. That's what she says. Oh, okay. I, I was going to say, I now, how did you connect research. with Frank? I was going to say, how did you connect with Frank Zappa's niece, or was this just coincidental too? Well, uh, she was t uh, looking at pictures, and I said, well, you know, what do you look for? And she said, well, I'm a psychic, and I paint portraits based on these photographs. Ah. And so I said, well, put your name in my book, and if I get any really cool photographs, then I'll call you. And she said. My name is so-and-so Zappa. Oh, oh Frank. Frank. Yeah, it's Zappa? not like it's a common name, yeah, right? She yeah, she yeah, that's my uncle. Oh, geez. Yeah. Okay. And, I'll need uh, yeah. And I said, then we talked about it, and I said, you're a psychic. I said, go upstairs, see what, you know, what you get up there. Yeah. And she went up there, and she said, Agnes, well, she knew her name then mm, by yeah. that time. Is at the top of the stairs, and she said, get a better picture of me. Tell her to get a better picture. <laughs> and uh, This is what Agnes said to her, get a better exactly picture. That's exactly right. That's ah. what she said. And then my girlfriend came in, and she had one of those machines that... Uh, reads, I don't know what kind of vibes, and then it interprets it. Oh, we got some machinery tonight. We'll be getting to that. Yeah. She went up there, and she said, nothing's happening. It just keeps saying, uncle, uncle, uncle. Hmm. And I said, well, that's because Frank Zappa's niece was just up there. And it was two seconds later <laughs> that she went up there. So. Hmm. Okay, we're going to stop from this for just a minute. We'll pick okay. this up again. I want to introduce the other gentleman here and get everybody on there. Okay. Andy Openlander. Andy's been here before. Yes, I have. We've had Andy on before, and Andy does the, oh, I don't know what now. I should know this because I was just at the event on the weekend. Echo Box or Spirit Box? What is the proper name? Uh, I make Ghost Boxes. Ghost Box, okay. Yes. Uh, ghost Box is a modified radio that's been designed to facilitate communication with the other side. So now say you were to bring this, like you were to bring this to Nyla's shop. To, to the shop would it would it be, be you could actually do this anywhere i know that it doesn't have to be anywhere in particular mm -hmm. to pick up voices but do you think you'd get better reception if you were closer to the spirit or uh yeah or does that just not matter well it, you know you could use it in a, in a place that's haunted to talk to resident spirits absolutely so mm -hmm. we could pick her up or, we, or not it depends okay you know? <clears throat> hmm. and then another gentleman we got with this is julius Julius Schwarzinger and Julie's Julie's been on here before too. You were just on last month when we had the uh, the group here from the Spiritualist Church, for, with Mahila Bacon and the whole group was on here. Right about what do we have about ten of you on here? Yeah, I think yes, think? Yes, yeah, we had yes. a big panel that time. Yeah. Well, I, what I do with this, I, I don't really do the, ins, the the technical part. I'm just helping out making the casings for the, the Andy's spirit box. Uh, Andy's is a app that goes into your phone. Oh, so, so this is like an assembly line. You make the box, he puts the inner workings in yes, it, and yes. I get it. Okay. So these guys are the genius of the internals of it. I just help on the outside of it and help, you know, try to get them gigs like this show tonight and just other things. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to do better than that when you get them gigs because this gig doesn't pay anything. I know that. So I hope you get them so I hope you get them, you you hope you get them some gigs that... Uh, <laughs> trust <laughs> me, I do, I do a lot of these gigs too that don't... Don't pay anything, yeah. but <laughs> I, so I know how that works. But they're fun to do, and you get a yes. little bit of exposure. And then the next gentleman we got on here is Mr. Danny Big Bird Ruberge. Hello, Big Beard. Big Beard. Big now, Beard. I just can't Big imagine Beard. anybody having a middle name Big Beard. Well, that's how he. That's what he wants to go by, Danny Big Beard Ruberge. Everybody knows me as Danny Big Beard, but it's actually Big Beard Paranormal. Yeah, Big Beard uh, Studios. Big Beard. But it's your beard's not that big. Not not today. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that big. You kind of have this like Rasputin look. Four years about ago, you, like you know. <laughs> no, you know, four years ago when I started the company, it was much, much. Longer. And then when you started tripping over it, you had a, decided it was time to trim it down a little bit, huh? Yeah. Uh, I get exactly. it. Okay. Now Danny also is involved very much with the the ghost, the ghost box, and the spirit box. Uh, and over the weekend, over at the Spiritualist Church, there. Oh gosh, what is the address over there, guys? Mahila's Church, there. Uh, fifty-one twenty. 
think. Something like that. And no, I'm 5135 West 25th Street. Yeah, that's the spiritual uh, church over there in um, Cicero. And they had an event over the weekend there where they were demonstrating the boxes. And the two gentlemen, Danny and uh, Andy, got up and gave a little lecture about what they were doing there. And they were demonstrating it and everything. It was very interesting. And you guys, i got to admit, are very good speakers. You both did a real good presentation. Thanks. Yeah, you Thank did you. Very, very nice there. Yeah, uh-huh. you, you kind of got me interested in it, too, listening to it. I thought I was going to fir- at first go and maybe doze off a little bit. That would be my time to take a nap. But no, you kept my attention. So yeah. yeah. Well, you left it. Yeah. You left it a little early too, because he wasn't in the session in the basement. No, with uh, with Dale Kazmierik afterwards. Uh, we went downstairs in the basement and into uh, the mortuary. What well, used yeah, to be the mortuary? Yeah, in yeah. bombing room. It was it was amazing what was what going on down there. It, uh, Any in bombing? You were or? getting touched. This it, this it, speaker got. Tossed like it's okay. This speaker now we have to. This is radio, so I got to say when he says this speaker, it's, it's a little thing. You could fit this in the palm of your hand. It's sort of like hexagon shaped, like a stop sign. And it's stop rubber coated. Shape. And it got tossed. It's rubber. Yes. Now is that is that the very one that got tossed? Yeah, it was yeah. sitting kind of where it is now, which I'd say is what about six inches okay. of off the edge of something, and it just ah and, okay uh, just went flying. It was very active down mm-hmm. there. Unfortunately, active. nobody had in for you know night vision camera running, but uh, you know we get the sound and the reaction. Sure. And um, there were, I don't know how many people we had down there. Do you have, did you bring the sounds? Did you record it? This, I haven't actually had time to review the stuff ah. on that night yet, but um, I do it's have too a new. recorder on okay. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, all fresh, right. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, I just wanted to find out about that, if something came up that we could listen to on this. Okay, maybe we should explain a little more about this, exactly what this is, for someone that may not know what this is. <coughs> uh, spirit box, or ghost box, echo box, whatever you like to call this, uh, you prefer ghost box. Well, there's two different things. Andy is... Like a hardware guy, Andy's using radio waves and knobs and switches, and I my stuff runs on Android and iOS devices, but we share the same concept. Okay, I'm shaking my head like I know what you're talking about, this and I have is, absolutely no idea. This is, it's this an is, app. This is the Echo okay. Box. App. Echo Box. Oh, Echo Box. Okay. Yeah, this is the right. app. Stuff okay. that Andy makes are boxes. Gotcha. Th- things that I make is Vox. So does a box and a box. Box, box and a it box. It almost sounds like something from Dr. Seuss, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And, I'll, and I'll let Andy tell you what what what, what his deal is. There. Okay, give uh, us the deal, Andy. Let us uh, know what's going on. Oh, we, Incidentally, before oh, I'm sorry, Andy, oh. I didn't mean to cut you off. But anytime anybody's got anything, Nyla, anybody, you got something to say, just jump right in. Don't wait for an invitation. You got something you want to say into the conversation? Just get right in there. Yeah. Uh, well, we we practice a subset of the paranormal known as instrumental transcommunication. And that's exactly how it sounds. We use instruments as a form of communication with the other side. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Danny said, Danny uh, makes des- develops apps that uh, will f- f- facilitate uh, communication, and I make physical ghost boxes that facilitate communication as well. Okay. So now how are you two partnered together, or are you partnered together? Uh, well, or are you just doing two separate things here? He he has his business. I have my business. I see. But uh, we, you know, we have mutual respect for each other, and we do collaborations. Yeah, it's just kind of um, so not, kind of not works. easy to find somebody that understands something so abstract. I have to admit, I really don't. I, I'm trying hard to understand this whole thing, and that was one of my reasons for wanting to go to the event uh, Saturday night right. to get more knowledge on this, because well, I really don't know much about this even, at all. Even beyond the basic, no. n- you know, the basic roots of it, Andy and I share philosophies that go beyond that. You know, um, mm-hmm. it, we use the same ideas. He facilitates that idea in a different manner, you know, but we basically are working on the same wavelength you know now i saw your address i looked you up on facebook today your address is new hampshire did you drive all the way from new hampshire to come here no, for the show? i'm staying with the I, I, <laughs> I, yeah 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 I'm, I, I'm at andy's house right now ah okay mm-hmm. so then you hightail it that now was new hampshire the address that's where you're actually from I'm, i i grew up in new hampshire okay yeah. but you're living in you live in chicago now now i'm in chicago oh okay and i'm all on right. a bit of a journey or a tour or whatever okay Hopper. all right all right makes sense to me all right okay um Let's see, do we have any demonstrations of what this does? Do you want to do this, or do we need to talk some more, maybe explain uh, a little more about it? Well, uh, we could we could run a demonstration in a bit. Uh, I just wanted to touch on a few things about how this device is used. Uh, a lot of people in the paranormal use these devices on investigations, uh, but I, I, I don't really do ghost hunting at all. To me, it's sort of like a home-based device. I run it at home, I run it in my shop, and just let whoever's there... Uh, come through and make yeah my understanding 
Uh, did I cut you off there? I'm no, sorry, no, I didn't mean to. Okay. My, my understanding of the device, you really don't have to go stunt this. You could just sit in your kitchen table with this, turn it on, and start oh, going yeah, and, exactly. and get They're some results everywhere. from it. So it's not like you have to actually go places with this and spend time doing this. You can do this anytime you feel like. Click it on it and do this. Did I get that part right, or am I wrong in that? No, right that's on. right. And, okay, and, yeah. and the device is also used by uh, psychic mediums mm -hmm. as a way of validati validation for when they do their readings as well. Okay. A lot of psychics or customers. Okay, now how would a psychic validate this? Like, a, Okay, a, psych a medium comes in, for instance, and they say, okay, I'm talking to... Just the name here. We're talking to Patrick. Be perfect for like what your incident for. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Angie. Agnes. But see now. But see now. But now see. We know that. We yeah. we know that. That's she's documented that. We know that Agnes yeah. lived there. That we know. Right. But on this, you don't know who's coming in. You don't know who you're getting. But it'd be great to get the name Agnes. Maybe we'll try it tonight. We'll see if Agnes can come in. I don't know. Now we'll see what happens. This works on a phone app also because I had guys up there with a phone walking around. Well, this the, the Echo Vox is a phone app. This is uh -huh. the, this is not this is a physical box that has the radio frequencies sweeping and you pick yeah. it up. Right. What it does is it sweeps through the band, either AM or FM or any band you decide to, to use, and as it skips through the stations, it picks up little bits and pieces of sound, and the spirits uh, use that energy, use those sounds to form new communication. Incidentally, I think I should mention this. This is your business. You're, this is something you're serious about. You're very sincere right. about oh, yeah. this. We do this. And this is time. this is your business. This is what he does. Now, yeah. just in case, well, after we demonstrate this and everything, if you think you're a little more interested in this and you're a serious person into this, if you do want to purchase one of these, like he said, this is a custom product. He does build these. And how can they get a hold of you if they want to <coughs> find maybe more information out about this uh, price-wise and th that kind of thing, where they can get it from? Uh, well, I'm at uh, www.chicagospiritwave.com. That's the name of the business, Chicago Spirit Wave. Uh, we call the, bi the device the Andes Box because there's a, a tradition of people who develop these devices naming them after themselves for some <laughs> reason. You have the Frank's Box and the okay. Andy's Box and the Joe's Box. Yeah. Mm, it's <laughs> nice, nice to leave a legacy there, something with your name on it. And I got so one. You got a Danny right, box. Yeah, he helped me. Yeah, he, it's something we collaborated on. It was a Danny box. You should call yours the Danny boy. <laughs> the Danny boy box. <laughs> yeah, the Danny boy. <laughs> or the tattoo or something. You got all these tattoos. Are those? That's all tattoos you've got on those there. Those are. Isn't those it? are all tattoos. Those are all tattoos. Indeed. You're like the. You're the tattooed man. I got a song about I, the tattooed lady Lydia, but not, we know nothing about the tattooed <laughs> man. I didn't get any of them in in prison. Never did any time. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad about that. <laughs> since you know. No weapons on you or anything tonight here for the show. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We did forget to do our check and search it, you know, before you entered the building here. So, yeah. That's okay. why I brought him. The bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the nappy guy over there? Yeah, nobody's, <laughs> yeah. nobody's searching his wife. Yeah. Okay. You want to demonstrate for us sure. what, this, what the contraption does here? All yeah. right. <clears throat> now, this is a radio I built called the PRD-1000, and the PRD stands for Psychic radio divination and that's what it is you're using it to, to divine voices make contact with the uh, spirits or residual energy i got it turned on right now now you can't see this but it has a uh, these little led red leds that go across okay and uh that tells you how where it's scanning in the band so let me turn this up a little bit That sound good? That's okay, now. Phone. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, if you're yeah, hearing you hear it, really good. Computer. Hopefully, over the airwaves, you're hearing the same thing we're hearing. It's just a lot of static and a lot of noise, and then every now and again, you hear like some now echoey voices. The best reception down here. Almost, yeah. almost as if someone is like changing the stations on or on your radio channel, like when you're flipping stations and you're kind Very of flipping stations. Yeah. yeah. So we can we can ask to see if we can make contact. Hello, is anybody there with us? Anybody here? Is there an Agnes? Anybody here with us? Come on through and say hi. Coming through very faint this time. There's something. I heard a hello. Hello. Come on through. Okay, it's just not, we're just not getting the right reception here, or? 
No, it's so not an instant kind of thing. Yeah, okay. It's, it yeah. takes a little while. We are hearing yeah. actually some faint. Oh, you are I, hearing I've some heard stuff. a faint female three times. Oh, you heard this too, Nyla? You heard yeah, it? I did. Yeah. See, now I'm... The, she's I'm, faint. She's you're, off you're in the echo. You're trying to relax. And, uh, yeah, I'm the one that's just not hearing it. Yeah, I listen in between the stations. I guess but so. But I hear voices. That's oh, the they're only there. gift okay. I have. Yeah. I've heard voices talk to me from nowhere. Yeah. Let's I heard see. Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> Come on through. Do you know my name? Andy. 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 You say hi to Bob. Okay, well that's, that's the box. Can we, is there a way like we can leave this on? Sure. And just maybe like turn it down a little bit, leave it on, and we'll continue our conversation. Sure. And then we'll just, and we'll just see if anything comes up sure. while we're doing, while, while we're doing the broadcast, yeah. Sure. Okay, now see that's the, that's the thing. Maybe that's why I have a problem with this. I, they keep, you know, I hear people talking about the trained ear. You need the trained it's ear not to even, hear it's this. Not, it's not really a trained ear. It's just you have to. I don't. With me, I I understand more out of the echo box than I do out of Andy's. But I start to understand Andy's mm -hmm. more and more. But I I, I was trained on this spot on uh, on the, this app before I was introduced to this. Okay, but yeah. Andy's got a newer model now that has the the hissing is gone right 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 no static so that's what my problem is that the static gets in my way of my thinking and i can't comp comprehend it and now the other box i haven't he hasn't introduced it out yet i don't think but i i heard a little I bit was of using, it, using it saturday night yeah. Yeah, I just heard a little bits. Yeah, yeah I just heard a little bits and pieces. Of okay, so it. now yeah. just just in the course of like normal conversation between the five of us here, having a normal conversation, would you be able to let you know? We don't know if some spirits are going to want to join in the conversation or give they us might. a message or whatever. They might. We just don't know. Do you have to always address them and say hello? Is anyone there? No. Not always. Say anything to us. No. Yeah. Some people. Well, there's different different theories about it, and some people think say, "Well, just turn it on and just listen." Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, <clears throat> And some people are very ask a lot of questions. Some it is. I was going to say. Objects, yeah, I would so think it's somewhat holding? better if you're asking questions. I would think. You, you know. know. Uh, it, it just depends. It was just saying something now, but we're talking, so it's talking. Uh, and, okay. You know. Well, go ahead. If you want to repeat what you said there, let us know so we can catch it. I uh, heard your last it name. It said Robert. I just heard yeah. his last name. <laughs> so said your name. It said Robert. So said your last name. Now see, there, there's three people that hear this, yeah. and I'm listening to the same thing, and I don't. Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of times. Syllable. Yeah. Did you hear hear a little bit of it? Yeah. A lot of times you have to listen. You have to record it and then play it back with headphones and try and find the voices. Do you have Bluetooth on? Do you have Bluetooth on? Do I have my Bluetooth on? Yeah. Let's see, maybe that's what's interfering. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, I'd like to. I'll dem demo my stuff okay, too. Okay, sure. When, when yeah. after that, but I gotta connect my. Yeah. And for some reason, somebody else has. Now, it. how do you? I'll just play the devil's advocate here for just a moment here. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, how would you say to someone like, okay, we have this thing and we believe in this and we sell these and this is the real deal and this is picking up the voices and then like I would say like for instance me so, like I'm, I'm saying okay I'm listening to this and I'm not hearing anything. Is this, you know, how do you convince them that, yes, this is, you know... Well, for example, somebody, uh, Jules could probably answer that best, mm -hmm. to talk about Echo Box. He didn't know it from a hole in the wall, yeah. and it's an app that runs on his phone, so he's naturally skeptical, and then what happened to you? Well, when, when, the first time I went to Mahalo's uh, uh, spiritual thing in there, with, there was a John, John Shanner, Shanner hand there, he was doing the Echo Box. And I, Ed, I had, Ed Shanahan or John Ed, Shanahan? I'm sorry, Ed. Ed I'm sorry. Ed yeah, Shanahan. I know who he is, yeah. Well, anyways, they, they had the session after the, the readings that Mahala did, and we were sitting down, and I didn't I didn't say I believed it or didn't believe in it, but what happened is everybody was sitting around a table, and they, you know everybody had their turn to ask for their loved one or whatever. I go, hey, Dad, are you there? He says, yes, I am. I'm like, I jump back, and I go, is that you? He says, yes. And we started talking back and forth to each other slowly, but I, it was his voice, 100% his voice. I couldn't believe it. I was in awe. And ever since that, that's when I got interested in this device <clears throat> deal with the communicating with the spirit. And, and uh, same thing when I got a hold of Andy, you know, I says, hey, let's get together. I want to help you out uh, uh, make some boxes, you know, uh, outsides and everything like that. And then 
I met Danny and everything's just coming together. You know, it's just, it's crazy. I love this stuff. I want to mm-hmm. I want to keep following it and go going with it. Yeah. Now, now one of the criticisms I get, and I'm sure you guys get this a lot too, since you actually build these and you actually make these. One of the criticisms you get from people that are maybe a little skeptical or a lot skeptical on well, paranormal yeah. is they say, "Well, you don't have any definite proof of anything." And you say, yes, we do. We have these voices. And I say, wait a minute. That's not voices. That's just a bunch of mumbo-jumbo that's garbled up like someone well, flipping the dial on the radio that's station. Common so how do, you, how do you explain this to them and well, say, no, this is, I simply know. I simply play for them a crystal clear voice that isn't scratchy okay. at all. Or I just hand them a phone and a speaker and say, ask it a question. Yeah. Ask it your mother's name. Ask it something only you know. And... It will answer a lot okay. of times. So, and, so, and so right, these things are little by little yeah. replacing the mediums, like for the seances and stuff, huh? They, they work to hand in it's, hand. It's like an electronic mm-hmm. seance. They, they work hand in hand, but I've had uh, mediums tell me that Echovox allows, like, oh, they're gonna, you're going to put us out of business because it lets anybody That's hear, what I'm just saying hear here. Yeah, spirit right. the way we hear spirit. Yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. So okay. you're gonna put them out of business. No, I don't think so either. It's, it's, it's There's room for everybody. Yeah. No, but that's that's what the point. Yeah, you know, they're yeah. like mm-hmm. it allows the 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 layman to experience. So that. do you think do you think in actuality it might be actually some of the mediums out there putting these things down just for that reason, thinking, hey, you're biting my hand on this? No, you know? no, I think no? It's just a regular Joe that's scared to uh, look at the other side of uh, of life. You know, like <laughs> I have friends in my work they're like, oh, that's that BS and this and that. And I'm like, hey, listen, you have your own beliefs. I know what happened with me. Yeah, I never did meet you. I never tried. I mean, I you know certainly I'm. Have you ever been to a medium? Oh yes. Yeah. I've been to a couple I've of larges been to too, a but really yeah. great <laughs> mediums. Yeah. Do you Irene Hughes for one. Oh yes, Irene. Many years ago, I oh, went to yes. Irene Hughes. She read for me twice. Yeah, many years ago, Irene and Hughes. I think is she still with us, no, or she, she passed, passed on? Yeah. But she read me in Carbondale in a shopping mall and picked out my husband who walked in. She had no idea, and she said, "Oh, you're with this young woman here, and how do you expect her to know what she wants to do? You don't know what you want." And she went on and exactly hit him right in the head. Well, and uh, then many, I, many years ago, I went to Irene Hughes, and she told me um, that I was connected with the sea through a disaster, and so I knew what that was immediately. Well, Titanic, because I belong to the Titanic oh. Historical Society. So I'm not actually connected with the disaster in itself, but it's the through that. Of it. And then she told me I should never cross the water myself, but I did. I, you know, a few times I went, you know, like to Europe and I went to yeah. Cancun and things. I did. Nothing happened, but she told me not to cross the water. But maybe it just might have been a warning for the night. You know, the well, couple I'd, of weeks in front or I'd whatever. I go up and see her at the Ren Fair because mm-hmm. she did a gigs up there. And uh, I sat down in her little wherever she was, and she goes, "Oh, I've read you before." I said, yeah. She said, you're still not going to have a baby. <laughs> no and way. that's pretty. I had one child, and uh, that was my big thing. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, she did really well with Okay. Me. So, see, now this, okay, of course, this is something a little more tangible. She's telling you something you don't know. She's giving you information. She told you about the child. She, you know, she told you about your husband. She didn't know him. She told me about the disaster, the thing, and, you know, something she would not know. Okay, so that's a little more convincing, say, than something like this. But sometimes, and like I said, I'm just playing the devil's advocate here. I'm not, I'm not downing your and stuff. And you can't doubt yeah. them. I mean, yeah. they might read really well for you and not for someone it, else. Sometimes that's and they what go, I tell oh, people. I think she's full of it. Right. Well, maybe you weren't really giving your all to her. Yeah. And, and sometimes too, things they tell you at that at that moment doesn't make sense down the line. And you're going to say, "Oh, wait a minute, that's what she told me, or that's what he said, or mm-hmm. this or that." So, yeah. I get that sometimes with palm readings too, when I do because I do palm That's readings, true. and same thing happens with that. Sometimes I tell people something, and I can see this look on their face. They're like, "Geez, this guy is just way out there. He's not making any sense." I says, "This is going to make sense to you a little later on down the line. Mm. This is something if it has not already happened, it's going to be coming up for you." Nat. And many times I've you know we contact or connected with these people, and they said, "You know." You were right about that. And I said, yeah, you know. And I always make it clear to people, too, I'm not any kind of a medium or a psychic or anything. I'm basically just reading what I see. Right. So I'm telling you what I see there. That's it. Right. What's okay, what happened to the box? Did we turn well, it off here? Well, it's still I was going to show you the, the, the Echo Vox. Okay, we're going to demonstrate something else now. And okay. before I do that, I'd just like to explain um, the way I got into all of this was through EVP, which is an electro voice phenomenon. Right. Which hopefully our listeners are familiar that's what with. This, yeah, that's what this is like to me. This is very it, similar it, to the EVP. It EVPs. is. Yeah. It is. And then what intrigued me years and years ago was real time EVP. So on your headphones, you're actually listening to the recording as it happens, rather than recording something and going back to your studio and dumping it on your computer and then analyzing it. To me, what was intriguing was uh, real time. 
So what I did was is, um, took made it open air. So rather than having the real time recording constricted to your headphones, it's oh, the the room everything is in the room is echoed. So I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to set the echo, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to intersperse into that echo random snippets of very garbled um, speech, but no, not words or okay. anything like that. Can okay. we, can we, just before we do the demonstration, can we hold off for just a moment yeah. here? We've got to take a station break here, sure. and then we'll be right, right there. Perfect. Come back with us, folks. You don't want to miss this. This is going to be good. You are listening to Paranormal Radio with Bob Trisek from the John DeVita Broadcast Center on Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM Large and the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network on Wednesday, March the 9th, the year 2016. And this is Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM Norwich, Illinois. And now, back to Paranormal Radio and Bob Trisek and his guest. Just in case you're a little confused, I told you it breaks only like a second. We, you know, we say we're taking a break, and now all of a sudden, like when we have people on the show, they're taking their headphones off, and they think, oh, we're going to relax for a minute. I'm like, no, it's only a second break. Yeah. When they air the broadcast, I don't know how long of a break it is. They probably do some commercials, but we get about a second. Just to reintroduce everybody here again, too, in case you just tuned in, in the middle of the broadcast here, we have with us Nyla Rundle, uh, Andy Openlander. Oh, I said it right, Openlander. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Julia Schwarzinger. Yep. And Mr. Danny Big Beard Ruberge. You got it. And Danny was just getting ready to demonstrate Echo Vox. the Echo Vox for us. Okay, you want to set that up again here? Sure, it's actually, it's actually running. Oh, it's going voice. already, okay. Well, you can hear my voice oh, yeah. Yeah. echoing. So the trick is is that we don't want feedback. We don't want to hurt the producer's ears over there, and we don't want it to sound like a Jimi Hendrix concert. So, so well, I'm also using I'm also reverb, reverb, studio quality reverb, like um, you'd find in a recording studio. Studio. And it really, yeah, a lot really of the replies, lot of the replies you're going to hear gonna noises hear jump, out jump out at you, and you hear the repeat. Hear the repeat. So, one. so one, one, it causes a rhythm. Causes a rhythm. So you start so to listen start to, to between, between the echo as it fades. fades. So I'm going to start it up, okay. and and we're going to see if uh, perhaps your friend will make contact with you, if that's all right. Sure. All right. Hello. I'm my mother, but... <laughs> oh, we can talk to whoever you want. Hello. Hello. Is anybody here like to speak with us? Say the name, the name of the woman sitting to my left. No. No. I got that. Yeah. Why can't you say her name? You don't know. Uh, she's going to introduce herself to you. Okay. Okay. Hi, this is Nyla. Who's this? I just no. heard in the background it's your mother. Did you just say anything? No. I just heard a female in my headphones no, say my it's travels with me. Yeah, I think that she does. I think you're right. Well why don't you go ahead and try to Okay, let's see you let's see where this goes. Yeah. Is that your mom? Yes. What's your name? Can you tell me your name? I don't. I heard something. I don't. Sound like I don't know. Good. 
Do you know what that guy's name is? Can I say something? Yeah. Yeah, hi. Um, if, you're, if you're Nyla's mom, you, you introduced yourself just a few minutes ago. You said you were Nyla's mom, and Nyla's asking you to say your name. Why, why, would you, why don't you know your name? Who's this? Hi, th well, this is Bob. I'm speaking to you. This is Bob. Well, there's a bunch of us here. We're all, we're all sitting together, and we're trying to chat with you. And we're trying to chat with some spirits and some, some folks from beyond, and we're trying to get a little, a little of your input. So this is your time to say what you'd like to say. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Nyla was trying to talk to her mom. If, if Nyla's mom is there, um, please come back in and, and give us uh, some messages here. She'd very much like to talk to you. Say hello. Say hello. First. Okay, it seems like we lost everybody here. I don't know what happened. Back. Back. Went. Went. Something sounded like went. Do you follow your daughter around? Keep an eye on her. Hmm. Nothing here. Everybody's kind of. It's a. We're studying. Yeah. yeah. It's the type of thing, type where, thing where you I'll get the idea there. Everybody's but thinking. Did we did we lose everybody? Is there anybody there that would like to talk to us here and I give just, us some messages? I, I just killed the echo. Oh, you killed it. Because what what happens is, is batteries die. Of course, now that to me, prepared. and not to, not to in any way demean Andy's equipment or whatever, but to me that that was for me a little easier to understand. Well, maybe I'm just is, you know. There's um. There's two there's two different schools of learning. Yeah. Between how you learn to listen to that, Andy's. So that's college level, analog. but I'm still in first grade. No, no, no. Okay. It, no. It's it's it's. Uh, I'm working with a fixed. Even though I manipulate the sounds afterwards, I'm working with a fixed base of noise. So you learn it like an album. You learn it like a Zeppelin album, or you know something you've been listening to for thirty years. You know you learn every sound. So what you're listening for are the things that don't fit. It's almost basically like learning another language. Kind of. Yeah. And then you're listening for the, the things that are in between in the rhythm. And you get, I mean, crystal clear EVP. The same thing happens with the ghost box. It just, uh, a physical ghost box, it just tends to, you're, you need to train your ear a little better. To uh, Of course, Andy's, the newer box has less uh, static in it. Personally, myself, ever since I was a child, I've been hearing voices and static and noise. So I like the static. I take the Andy sent me a box. I turn it on. I take the antenna out. I just want the noise. You know what I mean? So it's different thoughts. But Andy on the top of his um, radio here has a microphone, and that microphone is picking up what's coming out of the speaker. So there is a feedback loop, and he set the gain just right inside of there. So it's doing a similar thing to Echovox, but in an, that Echovox does, but in an analog fashion, mm, okay. where I'm doing it in a digital fashion. But that's where we kind of meet eye to eye, is we both believe that that feedback loop is a really okay, important Okay, but then now this thing, it very definitely said, you know, like it was her mom. It was Nyla's mom. But then when she asked the name, what was the answer? It said, I don't know, or I can't, or things, what was it? Things come and go. Who yeah. Knows? What maybe, was it? Yeah. maybe she only had enough in her to... Say Could it have been somebody else it? maybe playing a trick and it wasn't sure. really your mom and just said, yeah, come on, yeah, sure. I'll be your mom if you want me Sounds to be, like you know. Agnes, yeah. yeah, Yeah, there you go, maybe. It very well could have been. Oh, you know, we never did try her. Did we try Agnes on there? Um, so, yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, I'd love to... If <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> if, 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 if you'd ever like to have us over to yes. your antique shop, I, I think that fun. we would be very excited to, to run our stuff over there and get you... Uh, maybe her voice and some validation. You could maybe interact with her. Now, like I said earlier, do you, do, you think, do you think because it would be in the shop or in the place where she's known to be, her presence is very definitely known in that building, do you think you'd get better responses? Probably. Probably. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I would think so, too. That would be my theory. It's her yeah. house, not mine. One, yeah. one more thing that I, is for someone who's been doing paranormal for uh, several years now, 
Uh, I've learned that antique shops in in general are all very active. Yeah. I was just going to say a lot of the things yeah. you get in there. Yeah. Do you get people? Do you ever get any people now, since you're in the business of selling, buying and selling these things? Do you ever get people that have kind of a freaky thing about mirrors? No, but no? they have freaky things about dolls. Oh, yeah, yeah, dolls too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, a doll, doll, I'm a doll dealer, yeah, so dolls, I don't yeah. get that. Like, yeah. Hey, they it's haven't heard anybody all week. Leave mirrors. I know. I know many people that won't buy mirrors, like you know, on dressers or something. If they like to dress or whatever, they take the mirror off and they say, "No, I don't want that." But they'll buy the piece, but they don't like the mirrors. Oh, okay. They're so cool. I really like them. Yeah. Mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because it's an old, you know, uh, whatever you'd call it, of, of a superstition of uh, the mirror trapping your soul. Yeah. Exactly. So, and I've looked into, you know, two hundred plus year old mirrors before, and it. When you start to think about how what has been reflected in that mirror, sure, how many different faces, start, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. some neurons firing up yeah. there, like what is this mirror scene, you know? I, I want you guys to tell Bob about the other stuff you guys have been doing with the filming, with the flashing, oh, the video, whatever, whatever it's called. Video yeah. so cool. No, that's not curly. I'll let Andy. Now would this I'll be like Andy, the thing, uh, like the thing that you had Saturday night up on the screen? Yes, yeah. right. it's right. video. It's video yeah. ITC, and Andy okay. can pronounce the the. The, the Schreiber the best. Oh, Klaus Schreiber. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, he was a, a German who, uh, what he did was he took a video camera and aimed it at his TV set. And so you create a feedback loop uh, through the images in the camera. And <clears throat> when you set it upright, it'll start to flicker and, and, and pulsate. And you start to see images inside the, uh, the, the noise on the screen from the feedback. Uh, we were running this experiment Saturday night. Okay, now how does this work? You just you take a plain old regular video camera, nothing special. Nothing special. And you turn your TV on and aim it at the TV. You run it into the TV. Oh, you run it right. into the TV. So you're out of the TV into the TV. Then now I'm not. Now, now you lost me. I'm not sure what you're talking it's about. It's a loop. Now. It's a loop. You got to show him the picture if you have anything that he can. If he can I don't know what I've got that that okay. makes Facebook sense. picture that, that yeah. one. It's it's just basically a video feedback loop. So the camera's aimed at the screen, mm -hmm. and the screen is projecting what the camera's picking up, which is the screen. Okay. Circle. And it causes focus okay. problems All right. and distortion. There's no TV involved. There's no television no. broadcast. Right. I was going to say, you, know, you could be watching, you know, it's CCTV. an All in the Family rerun or something on there. and you know, It's the, yeah. it's the sim most yeah. simplistic CCTV loop. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, how did he ever come on to this? I mean, what what made him think to do something like this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. it makes you wonder. Really you know cool. what? You know what was he thinking? You know, the movie Poltergeist. <laughs> oh yeah, well yeah, yeah. A lot, you know, a lot of the stuff people are just experimenting with different methods to see if they work or not, and they find something that works, then they elaborate on it and keep going with it. Okay. Well, there was there was a uh, they captured this picture, and it was this guy with this this face, this long face. Darker eyes. I mean, you, you have to look at it. Mm -hmm. He had this hat on, like a fluffy collar, and, and mm -hmm. I, that's what I seen in the beginning. And then other people started saying, "Well, I seen this, and it looked like this guy had a hat in his hand. You can see the face. Yeah, it was oh. something else. It's it was amazing. You, if you sit there and look at it, Bob, it maybe was he was like, an executioner or something. Yeah, it's a wild picture. But there was yeah. definitely, it, it was definitely a spirit, spirits, etc. It's cool. I, to me, it's. New technology. Does anybody have this recorded any place or preserved somewhere? Photos or of it are up on Facebook, and then oh. of course where, now where would I go to say. find that on Facebook? Uh, <laughs> they're still they're, like they said they're still researching all this yeah, stuff. We were, we were just it's on processing. there, but nobody knows where it's at. Well, hmm. it's oh. on our per you know like <laughs> yeah, yeah. you'd have to add us as friends and all that. But um, it's, I'm not I, adding I'll you guys you as friends. I'll yeah. tell you what, okay, if you're you on Facebook, just, you guys are too weird for me. I don't know. No, <laughs> <laughs> if, you're on, if you're on Facebook, you could probably see the images if you join the group uh, Big Beard Paranormal. I think okay. they're they're in there. So just yeah, I was up on I was up on your page today a little bit too. So if you search Big Beard Big Beard Paranormal on Facebook under groups uh, you'll find a group and uh, I'm actually looking for just a, a quick echo Vox clip to show you guys just like as clearly as I can I went to Pennhurst uh, Asylum uh, in, Pens in Pennsylvania which Another is good very, spot for very activity. famous yeah. and um, and I and I got a man telling me exactly what happened to him and uh, if we can if I can get this going here I'm gonna play it for you guys um, second here that was me hitting the mic sorry <laughs> turn it up okay so you're gonna hear me i'm in an empty room by myself okay I, um 
You write yourself, yeah. or you're brave, well, actually, huh? Actually, no. In this situation, <laughs> I I've started, done these things by myself. I too, started so. out by myself, but I was joined by other investigators that came into the room, but I, I were unfamiliar with Echo Box, and you may hear their reactions too. But this is a place where people were tortured, basically, um, with a uh, what do you call it, electroshock therapy. Oh, okay. um, and so this was recorded in what I, I, I believe was a nurse's office. That was it right there. All of a sudden, like at the end of it, the voice deepened, like electrocute. Like yeah. yeah, he says electrocute, yeah, uh -huh. and, in, and in between it. Now I'm guessing if they were using if they were using electroshock therapy, we no longer use this. So this had to be some years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 and that, that place was built. Yeah, they no longer use that as a treatment. A thank God, mercifully. Yeah. No, not not in the that fashion that they did in those days. But not the same kind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah not like they did hmm. in those days. That, but that, that was, Penhurst was a, a nightmare for anybody that was stuck there. I can so. imagine, yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah, the stuff that I got there was, you know, it was relative to the location. So like you said, you can take your stuff anywhere. But it's amazing. Hospitals, hospitals nursing homes, that kind of stuff, they seem to be great places for paranormal anywhere um, a lot of emotion the only trouble with hot yeah with hospitals mm -hmm. the only trouble with that is hospitals are very often so busy you know there's so much hustle and bustle yeah. going on a lot of people miss it mm -hmm. you know unless you're actually in the hospital I don't know, like a few times me i've been in the hospital and people always say well yeah this is on drugs you're on the iv and they put stuff in there that's why you're hallucinating you're seeing this no yeah. I, I know i could definitely say there were okay. things that i hospitals. happened to me and that i saw and stuff and you know yeah and I hospitals know. are haunted oh yeah Without definitely the ha hospitals are haunted by the living yeah, that's true too. <laughs> and I've been through yeah. some stuff, and I'm sure I left an impression behind yeah. the pain mm -hmm. that I was in. That's and, true. You know, so yeah. yeah, and your experience, like you say, emotions are very high. There's a lot of you know pain, and there's death, and things. And sentiment is, exactly. is, is very right. important. So, that's yeah. why the antique so, shop. So, so, so stand to, yes, because so many of these things are connected to people. You know, their personal things and and stuff like that. People's clothing too, in particular, old clothing well, and I do stuff a lot like of that. Vintage clothing. I don't mm -hmm. get many vibes off that. I think they left that stuff behind. Mm -hmm. Could possibly, you know, it could, yeah. that could very well be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, the yeah. best analogy I ever heard for, for death was uh, some, somebody had an NDE uh, and they came back, a near-death experience, and said, I felt like I was taking off a, a tight glove. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe, hmm. you know, clothing, you could care less about the clothing. Most people, you, just, you know, you just mm -hmm. went, Woo! Most people with the near-death experience, they all kind of, and they're usually people that aren't connected to each other, and people that never met the other person. They don't know what their story is, and they all kind of have the same thing. They'll say, yeah, I saw this, like, you know, just like they say, the white light at the end of the tunnel. I saw it, I'm going down, and then all of a sudden I got sent back, and this kind of thing. I've so, heard the opposite, yeah. too. I don't know if you have ever Well, that's because your people were going to the wrong place. Well, I've heard people tell me, <laughs> and, and I, one guy, this guy I knew, I knew in California years ago, told me a very he started crying as he was telling mm -hmm. the story about getting in the car accident and losing his life basically for a few minutes mm -hmm. and he was being dragged down by claws and aye, aye, aye. screaming was getting louder and he looked telling me the story terrified so he was, going, that he was he going the opposite way <laughs> yeah he and he's not the only that's he's, right. he's the third person yeah. that's ever told me the same story that because i've talked to some people about this and they all say you know it's very pleasant no. It's the white light, they're going through the tunnel, and then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, it's like something stops them, and they're, nope, not time yet or whatever, and they're sent yeah. back. I don't think it always works back. that but way. But I've never heard this darkness, like with the claws I've and things being three, pulled three down. I've heard it three times, the same Ooh. story from three different people, totally Yikes. unrelated I've never years. Heard anything, no, no. Of anything demonic. No, me neither. Yeah, I've never, I, honestly, I could say, I'm, you know, it happens, I'm sure, but I, I've never, you know, heard that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who knows? Makes me kind of wonder where, like, a purgatory would stand in, in this. You know, if you're kind of right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right maybe here. maybe uh, this, just like you hover over the earth a little bit or yeah. something, and yeah, that's it. This is yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. If we still we still have I don't know if anybody's Roman Catholic. They still have we still have purgatory, don't we? Or did they get rid of that? 
<laughs> I think they got rid of the whole purgatory. <laughs> purgatory went out a little while ago. <laughs> we talked about this before. Just, I can remember as a, as a little kid going to church and saying prayers for the poor souls in purgatory so they get released. And I always thought to myself, how do you know when you said enough prayers? You know, Do they ever right. get out of there? Or how do we ever know this? Well, so when they're waiting for Facebook to come out for people to click like. That could very yeah, well right. be. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just an interesting thought. You know, if you click know. like a thousand times this yeah. person gets mm -hmm. out of purgatory yeah <laughs> now that like i say that now that the echo box that now that's something that you build and you construct and that's your development yeah and you can it, you can download anybody could download it and use it further i, I make a few and andy and i um uh, made one together i mm -hmm. used the sounds from this radio here that he built okay and um and they're all you know on google play and so you use the sounds from his onto the echo box no uh, oh. on, a, on a subset of the echo box called the sv2 spirit vox it's a spirit vox so okay. it's like the digital version and i took andy's box and made the most extreme sounds i could out of it and used those as my sound bank mm. um and that's also available for android dev devices for you know it's like five bucks or something like that oh, and, okay and you get to you know use uh, it yields results so. it's, it's another you brought it since you said since you mentioned money here just just for the just for everybody's fyi for everybody's listeners information if you're serious about this and this is something you're really into and you really are into this, what do these things run? You, you build these, it's a custom product. Uh, Julius makes the... Uh, enclosure. He makes the enclosure. You make the inner workings of mm -hmm. it. Uh, well, my, my boxes range from about $200 to $450 for the PRD-1000. Okay. Yeah. So the PRD-1000 is kind of like the top of the line. It's the top of the line. Yeah, that's uh, boutique stuff. They call it... It's a boutique quality box. I mean, you can take, uh, you can make ghost boxes using cheap uh, transistor radios, armband radios. You just pop them open and, and do a little modification inside, and it'll it'll sweep like a ghost box does. Why? why the, I mean, that's a big swing in price. Why? The, I'm like, okay, I'm what? looking. If this is in a Sears catalog and I'm reading the description. What would the description of the two hundred dollar one be as opposed to the four hundred dollar one? Well, the the. The four hundred dollar one has a program sweep, so it goes in different modes instead of just a back and forth mode. Okay. And it also has uh, an echo feedback loop built into it. So, uh, what would you suggest, like for the novice, maybe somebody just getting started well, off, or maybe just experimenting this? Would you suggest like the lower price, or should they go? Oh to yeah, the, yeah, sure. You start know, off with that, and then see well, if it's. Well, the thing is, when I got into this, I was using a, a Radio Shack, a cheap Radio Shack radio that I had hacked, and that's the term they use. You hack these radios. And I got results out of it, and I and I learned how to to use it properly. But it, it sounded terrible. It was just had this really bad, mm. like a popping sound as it would skip through the the stations. And the thing with with a boutique box like what I build, uh, it's it's special built on it for that purpose. You know, you're not taking something. So when I when I make something, I make it specifically for a spirit communication. I use my experience. Uh, and my touch and my feel for for it to to make the best box work right. Hmm. Okay, all right. That's what I I went years without you know because my stuff is software. I went years without buying a ghost box, and then I saw the Andy's PRD one thousand. I didn't I didn't know these and I bought were one. around it all that long. Like you just said years. I didn't. I, I thought this, these were like this is actually mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is this is my PRD oh, one thousand. Okay. Right. I paid him to build for me, okay. and, and I love it. I've gotten fabulous responses with it it's it's, it's great how, how long have people been doing this with these boxes how long have these things been around 10 oh, years about 10 years really that, no, see i didn't yeah. think that long i thought this was relatively new yeah, about 10 I years the software were... end is four years old okay mm -hmm. yeah. So. yeah it was uh it was discovered by a guy named frank sumption who's no longer with us uh well we'll have to talk get, to him and see yeah, if we can get some of you know uh, I, I, think I think i've actually have yeah. made communication with him on a couple occasions if he's going to yeah. talk to anybody he talked to you since you're doing his carrying on his work so right uh yeah. but he he came to him in a in a dream i believe where he had the idea of, of sweeping through the radio bands making an automatic sweeper and uh, so he he was like the master tinker with all hmm. this stuff. Everything was really uh, 
every radio was different every radio had a, a unique vibe and a sound so he it. dreamt about this and instead of the dream telling him to go and build the ark he built this thing he built this yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of set the wheels in motion you know okay. you get that kind of response like on a ham radio or i mean do sure those guys sit there and they hear oh who's on here they, pr yeah you pr okay. probably happened to people they just didn't realize what it was I, you took the words right out of mouth i was just gonna say i bet you it happens and people don't even realize it's happening there yeah. are yeah. records out there i'm sure that have mm. been out there for 50 years that have yeah. EVP on them yeah. on a guitar track in mm -hmm. the background that nobody's but now, ever if these, when they start playing them backwards again yeah. Yeah. If these, if these, back to that but if these if these spirits and these entities are really definitely trying to make communication with us don't you think they'd be a little more clearer about it and say yeah we really want communication with you we got some messages Some, sometimes, they, sometimes, they, sometimes we got some they are well, so, I, I, I really oh, think yeah. this is still young technology yeah, all of it this is just it's a, relatively new yeah 10 years it's yeah, nothing, yeah. nothing still scratching yeah. the surface ten, here 10 yeah. years and then four four years for mobile uh software it's to actually be taken not seriously it's know? really not a new idea thomas alva edison one of the last things he came up with before he, before he passed away was you know the story he wanted to come up with a, a device to communicate with exactly. the dead right yeah well, he, anybody could have done it thomas edison certainly would have been able he had to. the right idea yeah. i think mm -hmm. tesla had some ideas about yeah. about mm -hmm. it all too and and um to answer a question that you asked earlier too if somebody wants to get their feet wet um they can go you know to google play if they got an android and they can search out you know there's a lot of ghost hunting apps out there oh yeah mm -hmm. and there's a lot of garbage there's there yeah. really is there just is and a lot of it you can tell by looking at it and the reviews and stuff but sure. if you find big beard studios you search that most of my stuff is like four stars or higher uh, yeah, lots gonna, and lots of I was of just going to say, did they rate this? You get like one star, two oh, stars, no, three stars, I mean, and then he says four stars. I get, I, I, I have great reviews, and they've been there for years. It's not an easy thing to do. Well, man. there's and nothing, there's nothing like tooting your own horn there, no, Danny. No, well, so, what, I'm, what I'm trying to get to is <laughs> yeah. that if somebody wants to get their feet wet, I, sure. my price range is from free you know to thirty dollars oh well that's okay yeah just to get you introduced to get yeah. you introduced yeah. and you'll you'll be able to actually use a little bit of andy stuff too and then that, and then people climb the ladder you know they, sure and they want and then more see, and more you know see if this is something for you or maybe i just want to dabble in this a little bit and they say ah this isn't yep. really for me i'm moving on to something else or mm -hmm. or maybe i do want to carry it further so yeah yeah yeah. Just to kind of, like you say, get their feet wet, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a path, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Some people some people don't get it, and other people, they just latch right onto it, and they totally they totally get it. Well, this has been very interesting, and I enjoyed it, and it's been a fast hour. Do, yep. we, do we have t time, or am I reading the clock right, John? Mr. John DeVitt, is that right there, 8 o'clock for us? Uh, we got five minutes. Oh, we still have five minutes. Oh. Good, okay, because the one up here, I'm looking, we got like a minute left, so we well, still got five more minutes. Here. Yeah. Here. Oh, there you go, the 1 o'clock <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah. So it's five minutes to one. It's not. It's not one minute to eight. Wow, we were here a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't realize it was like an all nighter here. Yeah, that went really fast. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Just in case too, you want to get this broadcast. It will be aired tomorrow. Tomorrow are they going to air it on Wednesday. Jack FM? Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, Jack FM. That's our uh, affiliate there. Jack FM eighty nine point seven WRHS in Norwich. It's kind of the local station here. So if you're a little further away from the Norwich area, you probably won't be able to pick the station up. But then within a day or two. Um, Mr. John Shikanda, who produces our shows here, he um, throws them up on YouTube. So go to YouTube, punch in today's date, which would be, I don't know, are they going to use today's date or are they going to use tomorrow's date? We'll use today's date. So punch up Paranormal Radio um, and put, put today's date in, which would be 3-7-16, and the broadcast will come up. Or sometimes, too, you put my name in there. Put Paranormal Radio in my name, Bob Trazik, Bob, and I'll spell it for you, T-R-Z-E-C-I-A-K, and the shows all come up. Um, also, too, go to the Windy City Network, www.windycityhometown.com, and click on there, and you can listen to this broadcast and some of the old broadcasts, too, and then listen to some of the, some of the other shows they got on the Windy City Network there, too. Uh, a lot of stuff of historical interest. They got Meet the uh, Chicago Historians, um, Chicago Junction, all about Chicago railroading, the Don of Sports, a sports show. The Ita I always forget the Italian one. What's the Italian one? Keeping it real. Keeping it real. That's the show geared towards Italians. I can only listen to half of it because I'm only half Italian, so I can never <laughs> listen. So I can never listen to the full broadcast. Come on, yeah, keeping I'm it real. Honorary yeah, manja uh, eat. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, they're all up here. Where are they? At? Oh, there they are. The thing's right in front of me, and I'm doing it. Well, I did pretty good by memory. Now you do so good for your first time. Yeah, Donna Sports, Chicago, Chicago Junction, the Armchair Experts. John, what is the Armchair Experts about, John? What does that one do? Sports. <coughs> <coughs> 
Sports? <laughs> oh, he choked it I up. got that. You almost sounded like you were an Echo Vox there, John, or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought we were listening to, like, John from Beyond or Your something. Your husband there. just yeah. downloaded yeah. my software. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that fast, see? He showed me. And then Wealth and Wisdom. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at that. Another show called Wealth and Wisdom there. So, yeah, these are all up on the Windy City Network there. So, yeah. Um, thank you, Nyla. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Please come back again anytime. You're welcome okay. to come back on here. Come back on here. Don't forget Nyla's shop, too. Go there if you want to do uh, some paranormal investigating. And while you're there, it is a business. Pick up an antique, too. Pick up something. Buy something there while you're there, too. She's got a nice selection of things. Very, too. You don't really specialize in anything. Like some of the shops specialize no. like in dolls or in jewelry. I have you have everything. you have a little bit of everything. That's Your store is a nice hodgepodge. That's my thing. Something yeah, and she's for got some and she's got some nice quality takes. stuff there. And she's at one four three three zero Beacon <laughs> Avenue, Orland Park, six zero four six two. You want to give a phone number if they want to call you? Seven zero eight three six four nine three three six. There you go, Andy Openlander. Andy, you got to get on the computer waves there www.chicagospiritwave.com mm -hmm. for the for the spirit boxes or the I keep calling do you call it right the ghost box ghost box ghost box for the ghost box uh, psychic radio divination divination yeah. big beard paranormal group go up there for Danny and some information about yeah, him if you just Google Danny big beard or big beard studios he'll find no oh, you're a studio stuff. or you or, oh. you or YouTube if you go on YouTube and search He's big beard over. studios yeah, I gotta look I'm, for I'm some easy of your, to find what do you got up on YouTube about you I gotta look at some of your YouTube I have stuff a couple I probably have maybe two or three hundred videos up for the last four years oh, okay it's very entertaining there's six hour shows up there oh, six, six hours there's, of youtube there's shorter, no no there's shorter one you know there's everything from a 30 second clip to six hours gotcha. worth of okay. crazy All experiments right. so and then julia schwarzinger schwarzinger yeah. geez why can't i never you uh, said it perfect all night until it's time yeah to right now schwarzinger yeah maybe i'm getting tired huh <laughs> <laughs> Me too, julia oh, schwarzinger yeah. and julius doesn't build anything no, I just make the enclosures, but I just like I hang around these guys. You I'm, hang around. I, I wanted to, I, I'm a paranormal. Well, junkie. what the heck? If you got to hang around somewhere, what do you <laughs> do for a living? What's your What's your occupation? Uh, I'm a manufacturer. Okay, what do you I manufacture? Uh, steel components, uh, plastics. Oh, okay. Machine. Are you like self-employed? You do work for a company or? No, I, I I'm self-employed. Self-employed. Yeah, okay. Twenty so, years. So you're out of work. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> no, I'm doing fine. And then Mr. Danny Big Bird Rub. No, I'm kidding you. Danny, <laughs> Danny Big Bird Ruberge. And where do we we get a hold of you through Big Beard Paranormal Group? Uh, you'd find me just just Google. Or YouTube, big and, beard. And what else do you do besides this, or is this, this it? This is my full-time living. This is it, your full-time? For so you're, four you're one of the rare ones that actually makes a living in paranormal. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Andy. Oh, Andy, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Andy and I. Andy's Andy, the yeah. only full-time ghost box builder, and I'm, I believe, the only full-time app guy. So Cool, okay. Yeah. So you guys are kind of pioneering the field here. and we're, yeah. We're trying. We're trying. Eventually yeah. we'll see little factories springing up and everything, little bluebirds, you know, <laughs> factories and stuff, building these ghost boxes and yeah, stuff. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, there's a lot of spirit <laughs> out there. There's, an there's a whole lot of spirit yeah, out there. That's one thing we're all guaranteed to do is die. <laughs> there's so much out there and there's so much we don't know and there's so much exactly. to learn. There really yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot to learn. It's a learning experience. It really is. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, when people, you know, I'm sure you guys get the same questions that I get. They say, oh, what got you interested in paranormal? I said, saying, I really can't remember a time ever not being interested in it, but it was actually my brother, like way back, my brother took a parapsychology class, and so he would investigate a lot of these things, you know, the Resurrection Mary stories and the Bachelor's Grove and all that, and I kind of just went along for the ride with him, and that really got me more serious into it, you know, that way, mm -hmm. but I always was interested in it, you know, so, yeah, it's just one of those things. Um, is it something that can be learned or be taught? Yeah, it can to a degree. You know, some people have it, some people don't. But I think everybody's, you know, got something. I think everybody's had a paranormal experience at one point or another. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody out there. Just like we said, though, before, with some of these things, you don't even recognize it, as, you know, as a, as a voice you're hearing or whatever that is. You know, so, yeah. And it's nothing to be afraid of. No, absolutely not. No. Mm -mm. Nothing, nothing to be afraid of. Not at all. No. Mm. As long well, as nobody grabs me with their claws. Neither I, Andy or okay. I have ever been dragged out of bed okay. by our feet. I've never been touched. Head. You know, many, many <laughs> people, many touched. people that I've had on this show, and many people I've talked to, you know, in, in different places here and there in the paranormal. You know, he would come in contact with all these people. Uh, some people have said yes, they've been touched, they've been scratched, sure. and all this kind of thing. No different than that. Uh, never. I've never no felt anything that. like that. Yeah, yeah never. Yeah. yeah. I think it's actually kind of rare. And they say, no, it's not. It's not as rare as you it's think it is. It's not that rare. They I'll take you yeah. to Penhurst. No, okay. 
leave you alone <laughs> somewhere, and someone will touch you. Are you going to leave me alone in Penhurst? Yeah, sure. But I'll like. be scared. Where is she, where is she I getting touched at the, the, the I got touched. Golf? I got touched in the embalming room. I got a, a push on my shoulder. Oh, about, over a Saturday night you got touched uh, in the yeah, embalming room? about, about oh. two minutes before the speaker Jeez, went flying. Okay. So it was yeah. like somebody shoved by mm-hmm. me, and they swore at me. The F bomb. Oh, yeah, they were F bombing, and everything was crazy. Really? I wish you were there to come down and really see. You would have enjoyed that. embalmer, though. Yeah, I don't know who it was. We don't know. Yeah. So they embalmed down in the basement, and then they would bring the body up. Now, that little, where that vault is, that was like to our side, that course would be where the casket was, dis- was displayed. And then there was a little... That was, was like upstairs. A, that's yeah, upstairs. Right. Yeah, yeah, but we're we, talking we, about... We, were you given the presentation? Downstairs yeah. where they would do the embalming. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's yeah. where they would do their work. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of typical. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the gross stuff happens. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then there was like a little, I noticed on that vault, where that vault was, there was like a little room there. And I says, that might have to be an elevator or stairway that's or something. That's a crank elevator. Where they would yes, bring yes, the casket from, up. Yes, they would bring it up. The You're body would have correct. to come up. Yes. I'm, I'm sure yes. that's how it would work, because that yeah. was the old way they did it. You know, yes. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd love to cap- capture, you know, run audio there long enough to try to capture the sound of that crank. Yeah, yeah. that'd be interesting. Yeah, is it still is it still working? Uh, you know what? I we don't like we that. don't know. I think they just close everything off because yeah. they don't use it no more. I'm sure it does work. Maybe they use it as a dumb waiter now or something to bring plates up like when they have lunch. <laughs> lunch <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all. It's been thank very you. interesting, thank very you. entertaining, very informative. Thank you all, and please come back anytime you'd like. Andy's been on here before. Mm-hmm. Julius has been on before. Danny, please come back anytime. Nyla, the invitation is open. Anytime you want to come back, please come back on. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you. It's been a joy. Thank you all for coming on. Thanks. Okay, uh, next show. For Thanks, Mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to talk to her for a second there. If if indeed that was her, we never really did determine that for for certain or not. Uh, next month, for, yeah, yeah. Next month for <laughs> April, I'm not certain what we're going to do for the show. Usually for April, I do a little something on Titanic, so I'll probably talk a little bit about that since April 15th is the anniversary of Titanic, and then Abraham Lincoln's assassination too on the 15th. So we usually do a little something about that. I got a few people lined up to come on the show and. Um, We'll carry it from there. Don't have the date yet set for that one, though. So, um, April yeah, we'll 23rd, come to my store. We're going to have a birthday party for Shirley Temple. That's a her birthday. A birthday party for Shirley yeah. Temple. Oh, there you go, guys. That might be the day to come and uh, see if we can get a <laughs> no, hold of No, I wouldn't sh- think so. See if we can get a hold of Shirley we'll Temple. Play. If you <laughs> yeah, start, that if, would be fun, though. If you start hearing in the good ship, oh, you're gonna pop, hear you'll, that. you'll know you got her you're there. Yeah, so. more. <laughs> She did. Gosh, how many films did Shirley <sighs> Temple do as a, star, a child star? I'm going to have a list of them. So. Yeah, she did a whole lot. Gosh, mm-hmm. she saved. What, what, who was she contracted to? Was it Columbia? She and my mother have the same birthday. Was April she a Columbia? 23rd, I don't know if she was contracted to Columbia or what studio she, she was with. She made somebody or a lot of money. But yeah. she brought the studio out of bankruptcy. She yeah. really did in the 30s. Yeah, she was just yeah. that big of a star. Yeah, child star, yeah. Yep. And she was very fortunate, too, that she did not go the way of most child stars. She kind of took control of her life and had an actual life and was married and did things and mm-hmm. didn't get whacked out on alcohol or drugs or anything like that. So she um, she kind of made it the right way. Yeah, she did it right. So yeah. Good mother. Yeah, she was, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, her good. mother was a good mother. Her mother was not. Her Controlled mother was. everything. S- she yeah. was sort of a stage mother, but yet she looked out for her daughter's yeah. welfare. Yeah. yeah, where so many of the other stars, like Judy Garland, and really kind of had kind of a rough time in that. Yeah, so, yeah, well, anyway, we got off the track there with that. We start, <laughs> we start, we start talking about movies. We start talking about movies. But then, of course, they're, they're dead people, too, so we got to bring them in there. Right. Surely okay. still alive. No, she, no, no, she passed not. away. Did she? Yeah, she passed yeah. away a couple of years ago. Not, not all that long ago, but she passed oh. away. No, I'm gonna cry now. Yeah, she was um, <laughs> she was an ambassador <laughs> to uh, she was a U.S. ambassador, I think, to Ghana, somewhere in Africa. And they really loved her in that position, so she did a lot of stuff. She did her life. She did some good stuff. Well, maybe we'll try to talk to her later when we get home. Yeah, uh, yeah. just for the hell of it. <laughs> maybe now that I mentioned her and we talked about her, maybe that would be a good time to just bring the, the thing on there. The heck of it. She's gone. I know she is. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks again. Yeah, I knew it was a couple of years she passed away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Nancy Reagan just died today. The former first lady, she, she passed away. Mm-hmm. And George Kennedy, the actor, just died. I think a couple of days ago. It always goes in threes. Yeah. So That's George true. Kennedy. Yeah. yeah George That's Kennedy. Hated. George Kennedy. Nancy Reagan. Now I'm waiting for one more because it's always threes like well, that. None yeah. of us get out of this thing alive. Yeah, yeah. We're all just well, passing through. That's yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you all, gentlemen. Okay. Nyla, thank you for all thank for coming you. on. And uh, like I okay. said, please come back again. Okay, John, sign us off. Give us the X-Files music. Thanks again. You have been listening to Paranormal Radio with Bob Tricek from the John DeVita Broadcast Center 
on the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network and Jack FM 89.7 WRHS FM Norwich. Paranormal Radio was directed by John DeVita and a special thanks to radio station manager Kevin Zeflick of WRHS FM Norwich and the executive producer of Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network, Mr. John Shikanda. This broadcast was pre-recorded on Monday, March the 7th, the year 2016. And for the next time, please be safe and thanks for listening. And, and this is Jack FM, 89.7 WRHS-FM, Norwich, Illinois.